Right, this is uh, just a bit of a response video to a video that I've just watched. Um, one of Lee's videos about uh, his Monday walk vlog around town. And I just thought I'd do this, just to sort of give you, you know, a bit of help, a bit, bit of advice. Because in August, you, uh, you've you told me that you, you're going up, well, you're going to climb Snowdon or Aruidva, and you'll be going across Creep Gorch. And in your video, uh, you were looking at some Ordnance Survey maps, and you're looking at a Wrexham one, and the uh, Snowdon one, and you decided just to get the Wrexham one because Ordnance Survey maps are nine quid each, um, and they are, or Ordnance Survey maps can be quite expensive, especially if you get the laminated ones. Uh, so I just thought I'd give you a bit of advice, mate. Um, obviously I use maps, um, I've got tons and tons of maps coming in all, um, you know, Snowdon National Park and whatever. But if you get a big map, big Ordnance Survey map, uh, chances are, you know, if you're just going to climb Snowdon or Crib Gorch or a little small area, all you're going to be, all you want be going to be using is just that small section of the map. You can have a big bastard fold out map. You, you bet you're paying for all that. But you're never going to use it. So what I suggest you get is uh, you can get yourself a book. I've had this bloody hell, I can't remember, I've forgotten when I, when I bought this on Snowden. It gives you a bit of history, it's photos, old photos and whatever. And also gives you maps and things in it. And obviously it'll, it, sh it tells you in detail <coughs> the six routes up, well, Snowden or Urwitha. Um, that was 6 95 you know, you can get yourself one of them. Uh, or, you can get yourself something like this, which it just shows you a section of the map that you were going to buy. And the section is just the area of there is in Snowden. Just shows you, it's got all the, the routes, the paths that you're likely to use. Like I said, you know, you don't need a big massive map you know, forking out nine quid for something that you're not going to use. Uh, that's the one to 50,000. And in, on the other side, in more detail, is one to 25,000. And then again, it shows you all the paths that you're likely to use. Or you can get yourself one of these things, a little small book, and it just basically says the six classic routes up Snowdon. There again, it gives you, in the beginning, just gives you a bit of, you know, about Snowden history or whatever, and a few photos. And then obviously shows you all the, the paths, and it'll go on to describe all the routes up Snowden. This was probably quid, something like that. If you go to outdoor shops, or you may, you may get them off Amazon, but if you go to an outdoor shop like Cotswold Camping or whatever, they'll have them. They sell all books box and things like this. Or another thing you can get is these things. It shows you all six routes up Snowden. And these, if you can make that out, is it there 20p? I don't know if you can see that, it's just up to anyway, 20 pence each. But like I say I have had these a few years so they're probably 30 pence by now. Uh, it's got the Watkin, Pig Trap, with the Saberis Miner's Track and Snowden Ranger. And in your case, mate, um, you'll be starting from, well, I presume if you're going to go to Crib Gore, you'll be starting from Penna Pass there and you'll be making your way up the pig track. And instead of carrying on up the pig track, you'll be climbing up there onto the Crib Gore Ridge and then making your way over the tops, up to the top of Snowden or Urwitha. So anyway mate, also yeah, it tells you, you know, it describes the route as well, step by step. But uh, like I say, if you're going to do Kribgorch, that's, I presume you're, you're going to be starting from Penna Pass. Now then, at the time of year you're going, um, <laughs> you won't be able to park um, it'll be, you have to, to, to park in Penna Pass, 
you have to get there for about three o'clock in the morning otherwise you just can't park but you can park lower down the road what I used to do uh, there's a place place called the Pedigurid Hotel um, it's where uh, Edmund Hillary and all them lot they used to train for Everest and it's all got the signatures and things on the ceiling and all this stuff it's quite interesting if you go inside anyway it's called the Pedigurid Hotel and there is parking on the side of the road but now the bastards they do charge you there it used to be free years ago but they've got little fucking machines there now but it's not dear I think you get a day for a couple of quid something like that and then you, you walk up there will be loads of cars down by the Pentagorid um, but like I say um, there's there always somewhere to park there and then walk up to Penna Pass because if you get to Penna Pass 10 o'clock in the morning it'll be chocker it'll be absolutely chocker block you won't be able to park there at all um, yeah, like I say, to save you, I you know, just thought I'd, uh, you can tell me to keep my fucking nose out of it, but I just thought, you know, I'd save you a few quid if you fork out nine quid for a map. You know, you, you just, all, all you're going to be using is that section of the map. You know, and you, you, you've got a big sheet that you're never going to use. Like I say, you can get, this is laminated, by the way, it's plastic, fully waterproof. Uh, it's all 50,000, you can see, thin slitter there, and it is Spin it over, you can see Slintlid on again, somewhere there. This is a uh, 125th, 25,000, um, which just gives you even better scale. Or, like I say, get yourself a little book, or just get yourself these little things. In your case, just get the 20p, just spend for the pig truck. So, anyway, hope that helps me, and good luck with your climb.